public gunship, one of the most loved Clone Wars vehicles ever. And I really like it as well. And there's also a Lego version. So I'm going to be trying to trade this Lego Death Watch um, trooper all the way out over to a Republic gunship from the Clone Wars. But there's a catch. So as we all know, this de uh, Death Trooper is worth about £10. And the Republic gunship, Clone Wars style, is worth about 150 to 200 without any figures. So I'm going to be trying to get this figure here all the way over to the £200 mark so in a month which will be amazing as that's when well that's later when the ATT releases so I could have that to go along with the ATT and thanks so much to Ryan Trahan to, for giving me this idea so make sure to go watch his, his video before as I'm going to be trying to make something like that but it's going to be like weekly or like two times weekly instead of every single day. Now let's get into it. So I first started washing it, and now it's nice and clean. Then I went over to eBay and listed it on there. So typing in Lego Star Wars Death Trooper to make it sure it's in the right category. Make it used so everyone knows it's used and as this is. Then um, change pricing. So it's not an auction and it's a buy it now for about £9, which is £1 less than the value. But I think it will go a bit quicker. So that's quite good. And then make sure the postage is the right price. So super expensive with a £5 postage. And now it's £2, which is regular and it's all listed. So then I put up a story of it on my Instagram saying if anyone wants it, and um, I'm doing a video with this and I would need some help and it's a good price, good condition and stuff like that. And then hopefully that will make it go a lot quicker than normal. So then I scoped back onto eBay looking for any good deals I could possibly get with the 10 or so pounds that I would be getting if um, I sold the figure. So I was looking for at any cheap things that people were selling, so if they had any other cheap things, or a bit cheaper. Then I saw this guy with the U-Wing, thought he was quite good. Let's see if our listings went too great, but I um, messaged him about the U-Wing asking if he could do 10 pounds, and hopefully he could. And then I, saw, I kept scrolling, saw these Kashyyyk Troopers, um, yeah, sadly it wasn't a buy it now, but I'd, he did have these magnets which I could get and this poly bag there, but nothing else. Kept scrolling, but did find this amazing deal. Hopefully he can accept £10. And that was basically it. Didn't really find a lot of the stuff, but we'll keep trying to look for any other things. You've got mail! The Ewing guys messaged me about... £12, a very good offer, and I needed to place it. I had to be quick. I placed the offer, and then... I won it. I won the item. So now that puts me into minus, but it doesn't really matter, as now I've got around a £40 to £30 set. Now I just need to sell the Death Trooper, and then this set, and then I should be going. So right now it's looking quite good. Although I haven't sold anything, and I am in the minuses, I've got this Death Trooper here, which is £9, as I've listed it for, and then the U-Wing, which is about um, £30 to £40. So hopefully then I could be able to push back up to around £30, and that would make me in, that's a really good position to get some more good items. So then I went back onto eBay looking for any good deals. There wasn't too many good deals, I'll just keep scrolling. I couldn't really find anything else. I was just trying to find some stuff worth about £30 so I could get have something there maybe or for like so I could bid £30 when uh, it's ending with the money I'm hopefully going to get. And yeah, I was not was just scrolling. Couldn't really find much. And yeah, that's it. So that's about wraps it up for the video today.
today so that i hope you guys have enjoyed i really have that's an amazing start to the series of hopefully getting about 30 pounds in the next week or this week hopefully and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out